Hey guys, family point today's uh, small topic is a diverticulosis. It is small topic, but it is very important for your smell examination. Okay, let me start with the uh, diverticulosis. It's a painless bleeding. Remember, this is a painless bleeding. Okay, the important point what you need to look for is a uh, it's seen in the old age patients more than 70 years old with a left lower quadrant pain painless bleeding is a diverticulosis if there is a signs of infection like fever tachycardia severe left lower quadrant pain then you can think of diverticulitis so if there is no fever no signs of infection then it's a diverticulosis okay look for the age site of the pain very important you have to look for the age of the patient if they give the patient patient's age is 50 years or 45 years or below 40 then most probably it is not a diverticulosis some other thing uh, site of the pain left lower very important though there are two sides one is the left and the right the bleeding is very common on the right side because the vessels are very fragile okay the painless bleeding can occur uh, what is the best next step okay since a old age patient 70 years old comes to your clinic comes to the ER with uh, painless bleeding with the left lower mild left lower quadrant pain what is the best next step so what would be okay now you get confused colonoscopy or barium studies look the patient is stable right patient is stable hemodynamically stable so what do you do colonoscopy or barium studies remember when there is a bleeding do colonoscopy okay oh my god what happened okay when there is a bleeding do colonoscopy if no bleeding barium studies are best so if you are given um, option so try to um, click colonoscopy colonoscopy is far better than barium studies okay how do you manage very important how do you manage tell me okay look if they give the history of uh, diverticulosis 70 years old which comes with the painless uh, bleeding and the left lower quadrant uh, pain then you think of diverticulosis and hemodynamically if they give hemodynamically unstable don't first do colonoscopy rather treat the um, uh, what you call dehydrated or hypotensive or hemodynamically unstable condition by giving IV fluids very important so they will confuse you sometimes by giving IV fluids colonoscopy if he is hemodynamically unstable give IV fluids treatment is nothing but just uh, if the patient is stabilized tell him to eat more fibers um, that can help him to uh, treat uh, diverticulosis okay guys thank you for watching my video please do subscribe uh, like comment please let me know if you have any questions I can help you with Thank you so much for watching my video.